What's up guys, my name is Not Simon, and in today's video we're coming at you with another top 5. In today's top 5, we have the top 5 Minecraft updates. They do go in order from 1 to 5. I'm starting off with the best first and the worst last. It's kind of a weird way to do it, but uh, I really do like going from the best to the worst. For some reason, I just like doing that order. But anyways guys, let's hop right into the episode. Make sure you leave a recommendation for the next top 5 or top 10 in the description below. And make sure to drop a like and subscribe. Kicking it off with number one, we have the update 1.7.2, also known as the update that changed the world. This is one of my favorite updates because it added so many of my favorite blocks. First off, starting with dark oak wood, acacia wood. They also added raw salmon, pufferfish, clownfish. Um, notably not a huge deal. They changed poppies and uh, roses into poppies. They also added the potion of water breathing. Extremely good for raiding water temples, which I do not believe were in this update. Also, there's blue stained glass. Oh, well, not just blue stained glass. There's all the colors of stained glass. This was the update that was added. Also, there were 11 new biomes added starting from number one all going all the way to number 11 there is the mesa the mesa taiga the roofed forest the birch forest the flower forest the savannah the extreme hills plus the deep ocean and the snowless taiga those are some of the major updates of 1.7.2 and that's what makes it my favorite update bouncing into number two we have the update 1.5.2 this was released on March 13th, 2013, and it's also known as the Redstone Update. This is one of my favorite updates because I love Redstone. It's a huge factor in all my builds. And here are the new things that were added. They added a Redstone Comparator, a Hopper, a Dropper, Daylight Sensors, Trap Chests, two Weighted Pressure Plates, Redstone Blocks, and Quartz Blocks, which are also amazing blocks. I'm just too lazy to collect them. They also added the scoreboard system, so like your the count of your deaths that's on the taskbar or you know the side of your screen. And they also added a new texture pack format. But that's it for number one. That's it for number two. Update 1.5's redstone update, and that's why it's one of my favorites. Going back into the beta versions, this is one of the last betas out there. It's Minecraft Beta 1.8. So many different sounds and so many different things, but it is one of the biggest updates that in influenced Minecraft and what it is today. Um, so I'm going to be reading a few of the updates. Um, there's just too much to go through. There were so many new things added, but here we are. We're going to be telling you what is new and why I like this update. So, there are so many new things. So, this is where they added where you can hold the charge arrows. There's critical hits. Um, players can play with the sword by holding the right mouse. It's all of those kind of things. But there's also so much different things. There's uh, world generation, for example. Villages, strongholds, abandoned mine shafts, and ravines. There's also rivers flowing and through and in between biomes. There's swamps, snow and taigas, and tundra biomes. Um... Also, they added so many new blocks, and some of them are my favorite blocks to this day, including stone brick, stone brick slabs, stone brick stairs, brick slabs, and brick stairs. They also added fence gates, glass panes, iron bars, melons, f and some of the food that they added was melons, <laughs> of course, raw chicken, raw beef, cooked chicken, and steak, which actually had the pork chops old texture. So for those of you that didn't know that, there you go. Also, there were ender pearls added and um, new seeds for farming, as in pumpkin seeds and melon seeds. Um, there were also new mobs. This is where the endermen came in. Also, silver fish and cave spiders for all of those spawners, XP farms, and things like that. Um, there was just This is just a huge update. It completely influenced what Minecraft is today, and I really like it. That's why it's my third choice. Now, I am aware that most of you are not very fond of this update, but I do believe it is one of my favorite updates. And the reason I think of this is because they added wings. Guys, these things are amazing. I use them to travel everywhere. I love going through the end temples to find them, and they're just extremely fun to get. That is one of the most important things of this update. I love it. They are extremely fun to just fly around and have fun with. Oh, man, they're just so much fun. But, um... The reason that I really like 1.9 is because some of the combat updates, many of you guys thought that they were going to be ruined and things like that, but I think that it is awesome. Some of the combat, the combat I just love. Um, it's just extremely fun. The combat is amazing. I also love the end temples and the 
I love the end temples, the igloos, everything is so awesome. I believe you can find villagers in igloos now, which you can find in, I believe, 1.10 as well. Um, 1.10 is, um, uh, uh, unfortunately not listed in this list, because it's just not one of, I just don't like the update, guys, I'm, I'm not fond of that update, it's not amazing, it's not anything great, but here's some of the reasons why I love in 1.9, of course, the Elytra, the End Temples, and the Igloos, but also there's four new potions, or, uh, what is it, abilities, uh, there's Levitation, Glowing, Luck, and Bad Luck, and, uh, I'm just, I, I love all of those, I love the levitation, the shulkers are awesome, I hate them when I'm going to end temples and stuff, but they're extremely fun to fight with, and things like that, um, I also really, really enjoy the new game rules, so, um, you know, some of the spawn radius and stuff like that, it's really fun to use if you're making a server or something like that, or, um, there's also new statistics, as in sleep in bed, sneak time, pick up, drop, and aviate on, there's all that kind of stuff. There's also Frostwalker and Mending, and guys, you cannot forget about Mending. Mending is one of my favorite things in the world. As you guys know, if you watch my series, it is amazing. I love it so much. It is great. This is why this is one of my top updates. It's obviously not in the top uh, top uh, three because, you know, it's just not the best update ever, you know. There's so many better updates in this one. Lots of people believe that they ruined combat and stuff like that. I think that they made it better, honestly. I love the new critical hit thing. I love the wait time. It's awesome. It's fun. It's not good for PvPing, but I do believe it's easier to kill mobs and things like that. Um, but that's why that is it for number two. Jumping into the last one, we have 1.8 released on September 2nd, 2014. This is known as the Bountiful Update, but people actually called it the Unfinished Update. People actually really hated this update, but I loved it. They added 36 new blocks, including granite and andesite and diorite, with polished variants, which are my favorite blocks in the game, as you guys already know. I love the way prismarine looks. I love the red sand. I, I like five blocks related. There's new, okay. There's five new blocks related to red sandstone. There's also five new varieties of doors, fences, fence gates, as well as sea lanterns, wet sponge, slime blocks, coarse dirt, Barrier, barriers, iron trapdoors, and banners. Those are some of the amazing things that 1.8 added. Also, sheep can now drop mutton, so if you're running out of food and all there are sheep around you, you can get mutton from them. There's armor stands, potion of leaping, depth strider, and an overpowered achievement. Spectator game mode, um... The spectator game mode is a huge one. That is extremely important. Um, now, people do believe they messed up villagers, but I actually think they enhanced them. Now, I wish we could still breed them as easily as we could for iron farms and things like that. But here are the updates that I enjoy from the villagers. I really enjoy that they breed only when willing. Now, this is only because I don't want an overflow of villagers all the time. Like, if you just put doors down, there they go. Um, another thing is I really like how the villagers harvest crops. That is awesome. I also like how they have different professions, so there's, you know, the shepherd and the butcher and all those kind of things, and also they'll turn into witches when they get struck by white lightning, which I think is comical, that's pretty funny, um, but they also added um, beacons that can be colored with stained glass, I really like the way you can change the color of beacons, it's amazing, also they made it so you can craft mossy stone and mossy stone bricks, um, you can also craft cracked stone bricks and sponge now with smelting, um, and, um, item frames also give in redstone signals, so you can make, you know, elevators that go to a certain floor, da daylight centers can be inverted, so you can make them, and you can make it detect night or day, depending on what you want, and I think it's amazing, I really do love this update, lots of people despised it, but I think it was cool, uh, and that's it for number five. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I want you guys to recommend all of the top five that you want me to do. I really have fun making these. That's why I've made three in a row. I don't know if I want to change my channel to this. I'm still going to be doing series and things like that. I think those are fun to do. I've just been feeling a little bit lazy lately. Um, and these are the most fun things to record. I really do enjoy doing them. Um... But I really enjoyed it if you guys would leave some comments and likes and maybe even subscribe. Leave me a comment saying what top 10. I would really like to do a top 10. So if you guys have a something that is really big that you want me to do, let me know in the comment section below. But for today, this has been Out Simon, and I'm out.